Hi, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the Chief Data Science Test USA Conference in downtown San Francisco, and I'm really excited to have Chul Lee, the head of data engineering and data science from Under Armour join us. Welcome, Chul. Thank you. So you had a, a very interesting panel uh, a little bit earlier today, and, and the thing that intrigued me is that it's a lot of data scientists here. You're talking about data science and numbers and statistics, but you said you really got to be a sales guy. And it's a very important role to sell the role of data science, to engage the business users, and to really help them understand what you're doing at the right level. Didn't, did you think that when you, uh, when you kind of started on this career trajectory? Um, no, I never thought about that. But I, I learned through you know, many experiences and you know, many years of failing, I kind of uh, you know, learned that, oh, like there was some kind of aha moment and okay, now I have to start communicating and then you know, be a salesperson. Right, and, 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 and also as described too, it's almost kind of like the unpeeling of the onion because you need to do, if somebody has something they want you to do, you have no idea whether it's achievable, whether the data is in the right format, whether mm -hmm. you even have the data. So they want a fast answer that's maybe not available, so what you need to do is kind of unpack that problem Correct. in bits and steps, give them a little bit, explore, give them steps, explore. Yep, totally. Yeah, and how much do you expose? How much of the black box can you um, expose between kind of what's the data, how we modeled it, you know, you've got all these sophisticated models, but at the end of the day, you have to be able to explain it in relatively straightforward language. Right, I think that's again like you know, where your communication skills like you know, need to you know, play the role, right? Uh, because, I mean, that's, the, that's the, my, my whole point, right? Like we as a data scientist, we, are some, we tend to think that we have to really unpack this black box and then try to explain everything that we're doing to everyone, but I don't, I don't believe so, right? So all you have to do is, yeah, it's a black box, right? That's fine. But you have to unpack that a little bit, right? In, in, a little bit enough to explain to people what you're doing and then to make sure that people are aligned with what you're doing and then people are supportive of what you're doing and that's more than enough, right? Right. But data scientists, we you know, have this kind of, you know, pressure to talk more about like, you know, science aspect of it and how I did it and how great, you know, you know, data science was. So, so we, we have to overcome that kind of, you know, you know and, pressure. And really focus on the value that you're trying to deliver to your customer. Correct. So, uh, so very cool. So another thing I learned, I didn't know about Under Armour Connected Fitness. So you guys have a big software um, kind of arm, services arm, we built do. around in Nomondo, My Fitness Pal, and Map My Fitness. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about kind of that business. Very different than making making cleats and and uh, t and shirts and things that probably most people are more familiar with Under right. Armour. Yeah, uh, it's slightly different. But if you actually start thinking about it, it's actually at the end of the day is pretty much the same, like uh, shoes and shirts, right? But the way that we actually start thinking about shoes and shirts is that okay, you need to have end-to-end experience, right? Around like you know. Uh, sh shoes and shirts because okay so you have shoes and shirts right and then obviously these shoes and shirts be are becoming more intelligent and therefore they start producing more data right and then they start to be more interactive right and then okay fine and now you need to start having some wearable devices for that right and then like uh, you need to have some kind of software layer which can interconnect all these devices and shirts and shoes, right? Right, right. So from us, you know, like it's really natural progression as a company, right? And then, uh, and then in that way, we can we think that we can be really like you know forefront of this kind of next you know revolution. Right. So I know you have short on time. You got to go do another panel. They're working you hard here at the show. Um, surprises uh, that, that that have come out over the last couple of days that you didn't that you didn't expect. Uh, I met a lot of interesting people, right? Uh, and I was very, actually very surprised to hear from different people that pretty much we as a community, we are going through the same pain points, right? And then we also like, you know, there are a lot of exciting stuff as, as a community, right? Because data is everywhere, right? Like, right. you know, in, in every sector and in every industry that you never thought about, right? That's really exciting. And then therefore, like, it seems like we'll be driving for the next, you know, you know, decades, so that's pretty exciting. Exciting times, all right, well, True Lead uh, from Under Armour, thanks for stopping by. All right. All right, I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching. Okay, thank you.